Our next speaker, uh, Dr. Boski, uh, is joining us from Bovis Lend Lease. And uh, this company is another Sorry. member of the World Business Council for Sustainable Development. Uh, and uh, she will be discussing some of their activities in the region. And they're also a supporter of the World uh, uh, Green Building Council uh, and uh, supporting councils in Poland, uh, Spain, Italy, uh, and uh, United Arab Emirates. Uh, she's also indicated and, and expressed uh, their support of our forming of a Romanian uh, business uh, council. Uh, so we're pleased to hear that. Uh, Dr. Boski. Thank you, Stephen Sopolek, for inviting Bovis Land Lease to be part of this uh, pioneering effort in um, Romania, and you are done remarkably well. If you want to remember one thing from our presentation, from our experience, opportunity is now here. Don't wait. Uh, Bovis Land Lease, for those that they don't know us, is a member of the inter many international forum on sustainability in the property sector. These include the United Nations Program on Sustainable Building Construction Initiative, the World Business Council for Sustainable Development, as Stephen was mentioning, and we are member of the World Green Building Council. We dedicate time, knowledge, commitment to the development of Green Building Councils like the one is forming in Romania right now in all of our major regions of activities. These are the Americas, Europe, in Asia Pacific. We have joined the Council in the United Kingdom, in the United States, in Australia, and for the continental Europe, Middle East, and North Africa, which is the region that I work on. Uh, we are working with the chapter in the United Arab Emirates, uh, with the chapter forming in Poland, in Italy, Spain, in Romania. Bovis um, is the circle in the middle, round, right there. We are just a brand of a much larger company, which most of you may not know is an Australian company. Well, Bovis by itself is about 7,000 employees. Our work uh, alone in hand right today is worth it $14 billion worth of construction. Globally, we have in the pipeline projects exceeding 60 billion, so it's really uh, a very nice workload to, get, to have ahead of us. Our Romanian operation is just started. We have been in the CE region uh, since 2000, in Romania since 2006. And I'd like to point to your attention only a few indicators about the workload in this region, which is about 500 million, the number of employees and the team that we have here. 50 people. So we call this success, and we thank you, all the company that they trust our service. Well, but there is a challenge there. The construction industry, as Joanna was mentioning, is held accountable. And as we have mentioned, the numbers are quite high. One third of the pollution of the of own global resources are used by the construction industry. 40% of the waste is being produced by the construction industry. Energy, greenhouse gases emission, 40% the construction industry. And the water, 12% is our, commit, is our um, load. I also want to mention something that we tend not to mention so clearly, which is our impact beyond carbon, which is 13 million hectares of the world forest are lost each year. These are, the, are bigger than the size of Tasmania. 30% of earth land surface has been converted from agriculture to and urbanization. 30% of fresh water diverted for human use. More. One in four mammals threatened with extinction. One in eight bird uh, species are uh, within extinction. Half of the world reef coral, uh, uh, coral is lost. Atmospheric CO2 are up by 35% since industrialization. 
and more, I could say more, but that is enough to give you the scale of our impact. So how this translates for our business at Land Lease? Land Lease business will be building or developing about 295 uh, million square feet, which translate, uh, uh, translate to 29.5 square meter over the next decade for, let's say, a period of 15 years. And if we do the math, this is our impact. Well, 82,500 82, hectares of timber. This means more than 15 times the size of Manhattan. 304.6 million tons of greenhouse gases, which means three times the number of cars in the UK. Pretty big, huh? 450 billion gallons of water, which equals to 10 days of water going through the Niagara Falls between Canada and the United States. We also produce 4,500 tons of carbon equivalents a year just in our 130 permanent offices that we have globally. But we also are aware that there are operational perspective ahead of us. Fortune magazine sum up the trend of 2007 nicely. Quote, business has become cleaner, cleaner and greener. Even environmentalists have embraced market-based solutions. The challenge are huge, but so is the economic opportunity. Who would have thought that a Republican governor, I suppose you all recognize Schwarzenegger, um, would set a target to reduce carbon emission by 80% and legislate that at least 20% of electricity must come from renewable energy. That's for California. Who would have thought that the UK, uh, Tony Blair, former prime minister, would have passed regulation that all new homes must be carbon zero? In 2005, land lease fell off the Dow Jones Sustainability Index. Then, in less than 24 hours, after land lease was reinstated in the Dow Jones Sustainability Index in 2006, we received congratulatory emails and it was noted in the ethical investor. Last year, we ranked top 10 in the property sector. I have included these slides because we all know that the residential property market traditionally follows trends rather than lead them and is also heavily regulated. The study here reported represent a UK study, Australian study and United States study. What makes our world go around? The transition to become a sustainable organization involves activities such as governance, management operations, human resources development, and corporate culture, stakeholder engagement, design, innovation, communication, participation, a lot of activities. Sustainability requires that economic, social, and environmental elements are integrated in project planning and that mutually beneficial outcomes are sought for all stakeholders. The landscape of changing regulation, numerous rating agency and indices, green rating tools, international advocates, etc., is more populous than ever. It makes knowing our obligation more confusing than less confusing. Difficult to tell where to head. The United Nations Global Reporting Initiative, the Dow Jones Sustainability Index, the FITSI for Good, just as an example, the Global Reporting Initiatives has, you need to comply with 79 indicators, at least 115 metrics to make up each of these indicators. Our headquarters in Sydney, the bond, 30 the bond, emits is rated five star by Green Star System, which is the Australian version of LEED. 
30 the bond emits about 50 less greenhouse gases emission than average of, of than an average office building. All new land lease bovis tenancies will be green certified within the next few years. Green building rating tools recognize leader, leadership, the top quarter of the market, starting at best practice and beyond. The tools are there to complement regulation. And that is the challenge that we see more often being embraced by uh, large company and progressive clients. Do we have a business case? Do buildings cost more? Yes, they cost more. We have delivered a project in the United States with a client that wanted to have a green building, a rated building lead in that case after design had been completed. The additional cost of that project would ended up by being 10.6% over compared to what it is traditional construction. Another client, same state, wanted to have a green building and decided so at the very schematic phase that added up to 2.6% as an additional cost. So it varies dramatically. Existing incentives can be used to reduce the risk associated with financing immediate greenhouse gases reduction. This is because where incentives already exist, reduction are most likely to occur. The inherent nature of the built environment provides a number of incentives, including reduce energy costs for occupants and owners, improve the amenities of occupants, increase health and well-being and productivity, and future-proof assets against rising energy prices and carbon legislation. We are seeing a wave of companies adopting carbon neutral strategies. These companies have recognized the potential future cost of global warming and they are moving early. They are also recognized that there is a strategic market advantage in being seen to be a leader rather than a follower. New industry will emerge based on suddenly viable alternative technologies in response to demands to reduce emissions. The global market is involuntary carbon offset is expecting to grow from $40 million in 2005 to $600 million in 2010. Summing up the message that was first, take the opportunity now here. Sign up for a Green Building Council. Become a member of an international community. Consider becoming a LEED certified uh, accredited professional or BRIM for that matter. Do your math. Keep score. If you don't measure, you cannot control. Identify your, your map, your road map, to good, better, and best. And in, at the end, prefer the culture of good governance, continual improvement, and best practice. This ends my presentation. Thank you very much.